What's up, everybody? This is the Jedi. I'll be brief. Because there's no need to really just drag this out. You know, um, I'm over it. Um, obviously, oh, oh, first shout out to Anjanae23. Kisses to you, Queen. Who made me aware of this. And, um, you know, this is, um, I, I'm just not really feeling what I probably should be feeling or I'm feeling, I don't know what I'm feeling, you know, I, I, I just keep thinking about you know, some of the coverage that I watched of the court proceedings, you know, they kept saying that Ahmad never said anything. And I had just been obsessed with praying and asking Allah that perhaps his soul had already been taken, you know, before he was even shot. Because the white devils kept saying he never said anything. And they would ask, well, so what, then what did he say? He never said anything. He was just quiet. Like that truth was so divine that they couldn't even lie about it. I found that very striking because it would have been very easy to say he was he was cussing us out or he was, or they said anything, you know, and they do say anything. So it's very surprising that they didn't come up with some lie um, about that. Or maybe they were just so consumed with trying to make it seem like they were defending themselves or trying to be nice and just see what he was about and all the other lies they told that they just overlooked that one. But that was glaring to me. He never said anything. And I just thought either his soul was already gone or that was sheer terror. Because I believe they were yelling all sorts of white devil, racist, clan type stuff at him and letting him know they were going to kill him, you know, that's what I believe. That's what I believe. But these verdicts, um, we'll just hear them. And then, um, I will do, tell you why this probably means nothing. Let's hear this. Person, I understand you have reached a verdict as to each defendant. Yeah. Please hand your verdict forms to the sheriff. I'm still trying to figure out who the hell this is. Wait. Trying to figure out who the hell this Negro is and why he's over here with the white demons. Just not understanding. Let's go on. Face red. Looks worried. I'm going to go ahead and address each one of these verdict forms Looks separately. Looks worried. The first verdict form I have is the state of Georgia versus... You see, that's very important because I kept telling you, in the case of the fat-ass Rittenhouse, he never looked worried. And oh, by the way, this dude that just uh, 
ran a bunch of people down in a parade with a SUV. They've got him in bulletproof this, and he's shackled, and uh, why doesn't he get a suit and a haircut? Oh, oh okay, because he's, I'm being told in my ear, what, what's that? I, I'm being told because he's black, that's why. All right, moving on. Travis McMichael. Mr. McMichael. That's the head devil. You see how the look, and look, his attorney is holding him. That's a, you know, like the, he's comforting him, like bracing with him. Didn't see that with the Rittenhouse fucker. In the Superior Court of Glenn County, state of Georgia, the state of Georgia versus Travis McMichael, case number CR000433. Jury verdict form. Count one, malice murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Oh. I'm going to ask that whoever just made an outburst be removed from the court, please. You see there, now this is, now that, that's, that, that's um, white devil stuff right there. It's the end of the trial. It's the verdict. You should be able to have your reaction of joy. That's first. And if you're not going to allow the the emotion of joy, you could have just warned them. You know, warned that, okay, that outburst, if there's any more, you know, I'll clear the courtroom, whatever. But they don't like for us to have any enjoyment do you understand? That's what that's about. No joy for the niggers. Even though we murdered your brother. I'm over it. That infuriates me. And he's literally waiting for the person to be removed from the courtroom and all of it. And it's also to protect the murderer. Like he doesn't want his fellow white devil to have to feel somebody rejoicing at his demise. This was out of line. Do you understand? Morally, but they don't have any morals. So it was out of line, but it was also very insensitive and anti-Semitic because we are the, the, the Israelites. So I'm screaming anti-Semitic now. I'm, I'm going to start using that. I'm screaming anti-Semitism on everything. So this was anti-Semitic. It, well, it was anti-Semitic. So Look, head drop. That there be no outbursts in the court. He, I expect as much from the gallery. Please respect. He could have said that and moved on. But because it was a black person that rejoiced, he's clearing him out. These people are the devil, everybody. It doesn't matter. From the trailer park trash to the judge to the president to the bitch next door. Demons. The court's uh, desire for this as we move forward. If you feel like you need to make a comment or otherwise demonstrate with respect to the verdict, I do ask that you step out of the courtroom now. Count two, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count three, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count four, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count five, Felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count six, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count seven, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count eight, false imprisonment. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count nine, 
criminal attempt to commit a felony. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Dated this 24th day of November, 2021, signed by the fourth person. Now, these are a little um, confusing. You've got two aggravated assaults over here, not really understanding. Uh, three or one, two, three, four felony murders. Like, did you? I mean, I don't, I guess, I don't know. I guess that's for each. I don't know. I don't know. As to Gregory McMichael. In the Superior Court of Glynn County, the state of Georgia versus Greg McMichael. Case number CR0, I'm sorry, 2000433. Jury verdict four. Count one, malice murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, not guilty. Count two, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count three, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count four, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count five, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count six, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count seven, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count eight, false imprisonment. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count nine, criminal attempt to commit a felony. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. This 24th day of November, 2021, signed by the Now, malice murder, not guilty. That's the most severe charge. As to William R. Bryan. In the Superior Court of Glynn County, state of Georgia. State of Georgia versus William R. Bryan. Case number CR2000433. Jury verdict. Jury verdict. Fucked up hairstyle. Guilty. Four. Count one. Malice murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan. Not Look at guilty. his face. Word. Count two. Felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan. Not guilty. Count three. Felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan. Guilty. Count four. Felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Count five, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Count six, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, not guilty. Count seven, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Count eight, false imprisonment. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Count nine, criminal attempt to commit a felony. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Signed this 24th day of November by the four person. Now, Good, MC. both the verdicts. Court having read. Um, I don't understand some of these charges because one minute you're not guilty of aggravated assault the next minute you're guilty of aggravated assault not understanding um but what i really want to communicate is that you know what we see in cases of africans defendants after the verdict is read the judge can't wait to sentence the you know the person i now you know sentence you to we'll move into the sensing phase and i sentence you blah 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 but every time it's one of these devils it's always some long protracted period of time between the verdict and the sentencing you know excuse me and always remember that they're always changing the rules in the middle of the game for them so while that malice murder is supposed to be the heaviest charge, I don't know how that's heavier over felony murder, but whatever. Um, we don't look 
for them to ever be fair on anything. So the sentencing, because they always have to get their lick in, if you understand, they just already put the brother out the damn courtroom for rejoicing. So they don't want you to have a victory. It's always us and them with these people. I always tell you that. I told you that for years. And I've known this long before you ever knew who I was. So he's going to come up with some crafty way of giving them the most minimal amount of time. All of them should die in prison now. You know. And after he said we're remanding, remanding them all back into the custody of the sheriff... So, I don't know if they're still in, in what would be quote-unquote county or if they're in straight-up prison already, you know. I, I'm, I feel like we, I don't know, because I'm getting it protracted with the, with, the, with the George Floyd thing and I can't remember. But um, they will find a way to make sure that this leaves a sour taste in our mouths. None of them gives a damn about Ahmaud Arbery. Let's be clear about that. None of them. So this means nothing um, until we hear the sentencing. As I say, all of them should be given enough time that they absolutely will die in prison. Period. The end. And then on a random note, I saw... I guess it was before the verdict, there was Al Sharpton and crew out at microphones. I'm so sick of this dude. Like, take your little Tweety Bird ass the fuck home and die off. Just go and die off. You're not a lawyer. You're not even a paralegal. You hold no public office. You've never held a public office. Like, there's no need for you to be there other than trying to remain relevant and to try to suck the soul and the righteous anger out of our people when they, when we've been wronged. And I told so-and-so to turn his anger into faith. No, turn your anger into strike. You understand? No more of this praying shit away and, and, and wringing our hands and hoping the system will do right. We have to find our saber tooth, everybody. You got to find it. You got to find it. You got to find it. And you got to put down fear or you'll never find it. You will never find it. Every day that Malcolm my king went did anything spoke anywhere knew it could be knew it could be the last day of his life do you understand muhammad ali if he'd had fear he never would have um um rejected the draft and lost his damn boxing career for several years you got to put down fear everybody Greatness is born out of bravery and trust in God. That's where it lies. It doesn't just come upon you and you're just going to get the benefit. I always tell you, you don't get the credit without the work on anything. You must do the work. You must. You must. And <clears throat> I understand that they were tried under a self-defense um I'll just call it a code uh, in Georgia, like some special thing. And that made the verdicts extraordinary because they were saying, I heard some uh, pundits, legal pundits saying that, um, that in spite of that, this was a rejection of that by the jury, you know? And then of course, when they polled the jury, um, you know, he asked them, oh, oh, is this your verdict? One by one, is this your verdict? And is this your verdict now? And they all, all of them said, yes, 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 yes. So, um, 
you know, and then they were asking, could this affect, you know, stand your ground laws across the country and blah, 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 blah. And that's just all talk because white people know that they are nothing without a crew or a gun. So they're, that's, it's like Obama said, and that's why their heads rolled off when he was running for president. He goes, in tough times, you know, people cling to their guns. It was a statement for us, but for them, it was a high insult because only a hit dog hollers. Only a hit dog. Let's be clear. So there won't be any changing of that anytime soon. And black people need to stop supporting gun laws and shit because the first people's guns they want to take and are taking is ours. We are never in support of any gun reform or anything. Do you understand? What we're in favor of is white people not having the damn guns because they're the ones shooting up schools and malls and shit and churches. We've not done that. So you have to consider it's not the gun, it's whose hands is, is it in. That's what you have to consider. So we're not in favor of that ever. So don't you join that bullshit of screaming. There just needs to be new gun laws. And it has to be more gun control and sensible gun control. <laughs> They're just seducing your damn guns right out of your damn hand. Do you understand? If you don't got shit else in this damn country, y'all should have a gun. Period. The end. Period. Because this demon ne has never fought fair. And everything they, they, they have attained ever is through violence. You understand? And theft. That's it. So, no matter what the verdict, it's still very sad because this young brother is gone. And alas, too many of us are gone at the hands of these demons. You know? So, verdicts and trials don't really mean shit to me. You know, if you can't wave a wand and bring the person back, then I'm just not really here for it. You know, I'm just not really here for it. Um, I believe in a life for a life. And so much time went by that if we were having the proper reaction to the threat that, is, that has been upon us since we encountered these people, then we would already have a system of just exactly that. No need for a trial. Do you understand? Because remember, they used to come and drag us out of our bed um, like they did Emmett Till just on a suspicion and kill you when you hadn't done anything. But here every day they're murdering our people and nobody's being dragged out of their fucking house. <sighs> it's a sick state of affairs. It really is. It really is. And put down that vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Put that shit down in the gutter where it belongs and where it came from. Your Lord says, an eye for an eye. That's how, that's how you put down any insurrection against you. You fight back. You put down the enemy and they don't come no more. It's that simple. So he will find some way to, um, you know, give them some sentence that will be some bullshit and meant to have us outraged, you know. So just get ready for that. Um, I'm surprised that, that, that there was guilty verdicts because um, what I saw from the prosecution was hideous. I cited that for you in a previous piece, you know, um, there was way too much leeway, way too much, way too much, not really containing witnesses and things like that. So I, I just can't, you know, but I think this was one of those ones where, no, I'm not even going to say that, you know, like, I don't know why, you know, it's just the will of Allah that this was, it is what it is. You know, it's, it has nothing to do with if this was some benevolent white jury and all of that. Like, nah, nah, 
there'll be no credit given, you know. All praise, credit, and consideration is due, the, due to the one who creates and no one else. So, shocked at the verdict, but also expecting some bullshit as sentencing to go on, you know. And then the main bastard that had the most, that pulled the trigger, you know, they're already previewing that well you know and he also has a background in law enforcement and this is his first time being in trouble with the law and so you know the judge could take that and consider so they're already previewing that i would tell you when they say something it's already done they're not speculating they're previewing you understand they're telegraphing know what's in front of you i'm over it anyway um Let's say Wednesday. Oh yeah, tomorrow is that bullshit called Thanksgiving. Don't celebrate that shit, everybody. And start making every day Thanksgiving Day shit. Just not because if, if you need Thanksgiving Day. Just you need to, every day needs to be a day of grace and, and gratitude and thankfulness for you to Allah. You understand? That's what it needs to be about. That's what it needs to be about. You understand? And a complete condemnation of pilgrims and just all things white, quite frankly, because there's there it's like it's mockery. They're mocking the Africans slash Indians that were here who they murdered off and took their shit. If there's really gonna be a Thanksgiving Day. It should be a day of them um, giving back all the land to the people that were here already. And actually adhering to the over 400 treaties that they broke with every that, that they broke with them. Don't give me Thanksgiving Day. Don't do it. Don't approach me. Don't look me in the eyes. Don't do it. Anyways, I can feel myself getting worked up. So I'm just going to leave it here. Um, I don't really need to talk about this anymore until probably maybe once the bullshit sentencing comes down or something like that. But for now, I leave it here. I love you all. I'll see you soon.